Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about acoustics. Now, as you can probably see, I'm standing in a empty office studio of mine, and you can probably hear there's a little bit of an echo. Now, I've noticed this when I was recording videos very early on when I moved into this new office space, and I don't have any furniture here, so there's no sort of source to absorb my sound. Now, if you're looking at a way to eliminate echoes and kind of get very high quality audio for your filming, then I'm gonna show you in this video how you can do that by filling up the space with some certain items. Now, I've got a whole bunch of things that you can see on my left-hand side, and I'm gonna showcase to you guys the difference between adding a bit of furniture and a bit of padding on the walls around you to absorb the sound and give you a side-by-side -side comparison of how much of a difference it can make. So let's get straight into it. So one of the best ways to eliminate echoes and get better acoustics in your room, especially if you have hardwood flooring, is to have carpet. Now, obviously I'm not saying to fill up the entire room with carpet, but if you get a nice rug, then that will do a lot of difference for your audios. Now, this is a shaggy woolly rug, which is one of the best types of rugs you can get for audio absorption. So let me go ahead and open this and I'm gonna fill up the most part of this section of my office and I'll showcase to you guys what I'm going to do for the other section in a second. So now that I've got the rug placed down, I'm standing in the middle of it and already I can hear a bit of difference in the audio quality. The next thing I would recommend is if you can get some furniture to absorb more of the sound on top of the rug, then you should do that. So I've got a Ottoman bench and a couch that I'm gonna put on top of the rug just to help eliminate more sound as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Right, so as you can see, I've got my couch there and I've got my Ottoman storage bench on this side. And already the absorption has been so great that I can barely hear any echo anymore, especially from what it was before. Now, let me just get your attention to this side of the room. I've added a carpet underneath my desk. You'll have to excuse all the mess. I'm going to be facing this way to do all of my video recordings. So I face towards the window. And if all of this was hardwood flooring underneath it, then I would still hear a little bit of an echo. So what I have to do in this last step is now try to use some of the sound absorption sponges and panels that I can put on top of the wall. And I'm gonna place them in the directions where my voice will travel. And I'm also gonna add some to the door as well because there could be some noise coming from my hallway and from the windows outside of the hallway. So this is what is the last step for me. And let's see how much I can eliminate. And to do this, I've bought this pack of 48 wall acoustic sponge foams. Now you've probably seen this in a lot of YouTubers backgrounds, they have them up on the wall. This is because it's one of the best ways to take whatever you're saying and absorb it so it doesn't reflect back onto you. Now they come in multiple different shapes. I've got this one as sort of like a waveform. I don't recommend sticking these on one by one onto the walls using double-sided tape because if you ever get the need to take them off, you're gonna get a lot of these sponge foam materials stuck to the wall and it's gonna make your wall terrible. So there's a recommendation that I would say Go to your local art store and get an A1 sized foam card. Now this foam card is very light and I'm gonna put all of these sponge panels, stick them onto here. Then all I have to do is just stick the four double-sided tapes to the corners of this and then stick this on the wall. It'll be a lot easier to maintain and you get a lot more coverage and surface area for all of your foam panels. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put it on the left side next to my monitor, on the door and in front of the window and I've got some smaller foam panels as well just to do on the outline of the window frame. So let's do that now. Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle was these sponge foams that I've now placed on the wall. So I've got one next to my monitor, I've got a few on the left-hand side and above the windows, and I've got some large ones in front of the windows. This is temporarily going to be there until I get some plantation shutters that will do a great job blocking out some of the noise from the road. So it's good because I'm gonna be sitting on the desk and my voice is facing towards the window. So that will actually block it when I'm speaking towards the camera. And then like I mentioned earlier, I've got some on the door. So pretty much I've got everything in place. And as I'm standing here, you can probably tell that the audio is so much better, but let's listen to a side-by-side -side comparison. 
Right, so this is an audio test with the room completely empty. I've got a few things on the wall behind me and I've got a shelf, but for the most part, there's a lot of echo and I'm standing in an empty room. So my voice is being bounced back from the hardwood flooring, from the walls and from the windows behind me. Now, if you wanted to get the clearest audio, you need to get something to absorb all of that sound, which includes a carpet, some padding on the walls and some blockage for the windows as well. So let's see the next comparison. And this is the audio test with everything in place. So I have my furniture here, I've got this rug and I've got my memory foam sponges on the walls and the window as well. So can you guys hear the difference between an empty room and a room full of all these acoustic absorbing pieces in place? I think it's made a massive difference and it's only going to improve the audio of my filming. And if you guys are also looking to improve the acoustics in your studio, your office, your room, wherever you may be, then these are some recommendations that I can give to you guys. Of course, there are plenty of other ways to absorb sound and improve your audio. You can get better microphones, you can do plenty of things. Of course, there's many other ways that you can improve your audio as well. You can get better microphones in place, you can get audio recorders and loads of different options. If you guys have any questions, make sure you go ahead and give me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this video and you found it useful, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty of cool videos coming out, which I know you're gonna find very useful, especially if you're going to be making a lot more YouTube videos and you're new to this and you're trying to find better ways to do things, then I'm gonna do some really awesome tutorials for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.